Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at uh, adding Google AdSense adverts into a website created with Gatsby, so a React statically generated website. Um, you know, normally with Google Ads, you can just paste the scripts and um, and code straight into your HTML page. Can't quite do it with Gatsby, so just gonna go through the process of what is required there. Now, uh, up front, you need to know about Gatsby. I'm not gonna be explaining how to create a Gatsby website, and you need to know how to set up um, AdSense as well. Those are separate videos, um, but this will show you the glue of putting those two together once you've got those in place. All right, so here's the website we're gonna try and add a, the advert to. Um, we're just gonna try and add it, uh, say, at the bottom of this section here. And so if we come into um, AdSense here, and I'm gonna be selecting, uh, so I've created an ad in here, um, and I'm all authorized, so I can add them in. So if I come down and do uh, get code, this is what we would like to just paste straight into our site. You know, we would like to grab this, come in here. Um, what's the bit we're gonna put it under? We're going to put it under firstly we keep our information up to date so let's have a look in here okay so we want to we you know we're looking to put it here uh, so I'll just show you what happens if we simply paste that in as you would in a normal uh, website so I can run it locally and we'll see that come up We'll just take a second, I'll speed this up. Let me open it in a new one. Um, so you can see, this is just gonna throw a whole load of errors out. You can't just put that code straight into your React uh, JSX. Um, okay, so what can we do? Well, we can use a package uh, on NPM called React AdSense, and that is gonna help us out. So let's let's go there, I've got it open here, um, and we'll get that installed, NPM install React AdSense. So let me close down uh, that local one and we'll just add that in. I'll just speed this up as well, it takes a second. Okay, all good. Uh, and if we go back to that web page, uh, it gives us some information on how to use it. So we need to um, add this script to the end of your HTML. Now we want this on every page um, and we can't just paste it into our JSX again. So how do we do that? Well, if you come into your credit card site, you can override the template page. So in the .cache folder, we can come down and look for default.html, and I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna paste it into my the root of my source folder, and I'm gonna rename it to html.js. Now, Gatsby will detect that and use this file rather than that default one, which means we can edit it, and we can just put that script down the bottom here. So let me grab it again. And then at the bottom there, we paste that in. And that's good to go for there. We've done that part, we need to add that script. Okay, we need to import it. So let's grab our import statement and pop that at the top. Oh, not, not of this one, but of the page, of our main page. So index.js, the, the, the page we want to add the ad, add, the ad on. Um, and then we can then use um, one of these tags here. So let's grab, um, here's an in article one. So there's an example of an in article one here. Um, so we're gonna grab that because that's the style I want. And then let's come back down to where we put our code that failed. So firstly, and here's that code. So if I just paste it um, just by that, 
and then we can copy in our details because this is the one I've just taken off the NPM website so these details are incorrect so uh, the, the layout is in article uh, that's fine the style display block that's fine um, the client we need to specify the client ID um, so let's paste that in there and then we also need the slot so let's paste that in there um, and the format is forward so that all looks good so I can delete this code that caused it to blow up and give that a save now let's just check that that runs at least locally by giving that a run here I we'll need to save it right, hopefully that got it in time Not that cache error was. Right, and if we try and refresh this now. Okay, so we're getting our page up. Now don't think it will display the ad locally but let me just trust this site we might need to push it up to the live site uh, no it is coming in well it's got the space for it there but I think because it's a lo on local host it won't display it so what we'll do is we'll push it up and make it live so let's get the changes into github Now I've got GitHub connected to Netlify, so I should get a build coming out here. If I go and look in here um, and do a refresh there, we should see that it's building it. Okay, so it's building there. All right, I'll speed this bit up again. This will take a couple of seconds. All right, uh, so it says the site is live. Now, let's go to Credit Card Wizard then. Um, now, I'm not expecting it to appear for at least a couple of refreshes here. We've got a service worker, so this first one, it wouldn't appear. Um, let me get into the console as well in case we see any errors. In fact, let's have a look on application. Uh, received at 308 so it's got a new service worker um, so if I now refresh okay there is the advert appearing um, in the spot that we we saw locally that was blank um, it's now got it in there so that is how you can get them into uh, Gatsby so you've got to remember to use a package it doesn't have to be um, react AdSense but that's the one I chose and that allows you to insert those objects and then override your default HTML from the cache folder and there you go uh, your ads should appear um, all right thanks for watching hope that was enjoyable if you like to give me a thumbs up a uh, thumbs down if you didn't and don't forget to click that subscribe and alert bell icon below uh, for upcoming videos catch you next time thanks for watching bye